Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. Alright, so um, Cancers, this is going to be for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, it definitely feels like there's like a really heavy energy. I feel like you guys have a lot on your mind. I feel as though someone may be feeling exhausted. Uh, it's like reality. Like, I feel like giving up hope, letting go of wishful thinking, and looking at the reality of a situation. Because I feel like someone has discontinued wishful thinking. And I feel like this has to do with feeling held back. Someone feels stuck, feels trapped, feels blocked. Someone is feeling blocked feels restrained. Someone is feeling restrained. Tell me about Cancer. Someone writes the Venus sign. We got the stork. Yeah, there's a longing for um, some sort of transformation. It's like someone may be dealing with depression, dealing with sleepless nights, really in one's feelings because of some sort of journey and wanting to move on, wanting to come out of that darkness though. Mm-hmm. Again, there's something there is something that was blocking you. Cause see, like if you look at this stork, here is a tower. A stork cannot fly through the tower. And that's what I was talking about. Feeling trapped, feeling blocked, feeling stuck. It's like you want to move, you want to take flight. But there's something big or bigger than you that is blocking you. And I feel like you could have been dealing with this for quite some time, which is why someone is feeling hopeless uh, and giving up on, you know, dreaming, wishful thinking, believing in something good taking place. The sun. But there it is, though. Yeah, see, here is the mountain. There is a mountain. I feel like on the other side, whatever it is that's blocking you, on the other side of that is the sun. On the other side of that is healing, growth, abundance, joy, enlightenment. But the but the issue is this block. It's like you can't get to it. You may that's where the wishful thinking, because I feel like it's like you know or feel. That there is something ahead. There is something on the other side. And you have been waiting and waiting and waiting. But it's like win, win, win. And feeling like giving up because it's taking so long. I feel like someone feels exhausted and depleted. Because I feel like again and again, something like deceptive or something, some sort of malice. It's like you keep dealing with some sort of issue, some sort of challenge. I feel like someone has a deep desire for change, yearning for this situation to change. But it's like it just keeps showing up. Someone is having trouble sleeping. I feel like night owl, like sleepless nights or going to bed like really, really late. We have a man coming through, a gentleman in reverse. Now, I feel like, uh, yeah, and there's a mountain with this person. This is a very stubborn person. There is someone stubborn in your life, a male, a gentleman. I feel like this person could be, or there's something going on around this person that pertains to like a... Uh, a prosecutor, a lawyer, a judge, like something legal, police. Uh, a, this, I feel like this person has like a very stubborn or aggressive personality. And I feel like this person has some sort of deep shame. They feel guilty. But the thing about it is, even though this person has this deep shame and they may have had issues with the law or again there's something around legal situations that, that is attached to this person i don't feel like this is someone that has changed 
I feel like there's an issue around change. It's like they feel a sense of guilt and shame, but I feel like the thought of changing doesn't cross their mind. Like there, I, I don't want to say this, like this person isn't capable of changing, but that's what I'm feeling. So maybe that's what you feel like this person isn't capable of changing, but I also feel like they may feel that way too. Because I don't want to feel like someone can't change because yes, someone can change. However, the energy that I'm getting with this person is that there is a big issue around them being able to change. I feel like this person feels ashamed to be a male, to be a man. There's something about this person's manhood that they feel ashamed of. And I, again, I keep getting like a legal situation surrounding this person. That's how you would know them. And they may be bigger in stature. Maybe they're overweight uh, or they have like a really big personality or really big voice. There's something big about them, whether it's their body, whether it's their uh, aura, their energy, because it feels like trying to compensate because they really don't feel good on the inside. All right, so I feel like um, there's something going on that has to do this is probably why the energy around you guys is the way it is because i feel like there's something about your roots something about your uh ancestry like there's something going on cancers with you as it pertains to something that you're meant to do and i feel like called to do this as a child because child is coming through I also feel like there's something around someone's health that they've been struggling with since they were a child sorry about that um, beeping this it's gonna stop soon because they're just backing up <laughs> See, it stops. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there is something going on with someone that struggles with like a chronic illness. Something that they've had since their childhood. I'm also getting here, again, something around someone's DNA, their ancestry. Something about your roots and what you're meant to do. And it feels like generation as well. Hmm. And yeah, see, here's another mountain. See, this is what I'm feeling with you guys. It's like challenge after challenge after challenge, 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 challenge. Hmm. We're going to get to find out why this is going on, though. And I feel like this is leading us to it because there's something about uh, your lineage, something about your calling, your roots. I don't feel like you're, yeah, I don't feel like you're an average person because child is in reverse. I don't feel, I feel like there's something that's not average about you. And I feel like it has to do with your calling. You stand out from the rest of your family members. Whoever this reading is for, this is someone that stands out, doesn't fit in. There's something very different about you. Um, oh, here it is. This is the deck I want to use. Yep. There is something very different about you and the way that you think, the way that your mind operates. You have some sort of calling on your life. That's why this journey hasn't been easy for you because of something that you're meant to do. And remember on the other side of this is the sun, which is why I'm seeing here fortune. You have a pioneering spirit that can manifest abundance easily. All that you touch turns to gold. Luck seems to be on your side. I feel like no matter what blocks or what obstacles you face, you tend to overcome it. But see, here's the deal. It's like here comes a challenge and here comes, you know, whatever help or however you get over it. You, But it does happen. You get over it. But then right after that, here comes another one. 
and then you get over that and then here comes another one that's what I'm getting here and it's like you got one more hurdle here there's one more block and I feel like that this is like that because you've been on this journey of like dealing with challenge after challenge after challenge but there is one more block there's one more block one more test one more trial and on the other side of that is your abundance, is your happiness, is your fortune. Because, and I feel like you ever hear that saying, like the closer you get, the harder things get. Because it's like your blessing is like right around the corner. That's why it's so hard. And that's what I feel like. You're on the cusp um, of, of getting this blessing and this last challenge because you've been through so many other challenges because I'm seeing the Ten of Wands. It's like you're carrying the burdens of the previous challenges. So it's like this last this last challenge here, this last test feels even more daunting because you're still reeling and still dealing with overcoming the previous ones. And so you're tired and you're feeling like giving up because it's like you you know that the sun is on the other side but is it really that's what i feel like someone's like is it really on the other side because i'm tired and i'm saying yes it is this tower is in reverse it's something that you can overcome tell me about cancers there's something very significant about the viewer what is it Hope, look, it's in reverse. It came out in reverse. Hope, hope is in reverse. You offer the most valuable gift there is, hope. Through your optimism and support, you inspire hope in others. And that's what I'm talking about, losing hope. It was like you could have been the person that was just so optimistic, you know, believed that, you know, all good things or, you know, just like bad things would just work out for your good. And it's like now you're actually feeling hopeless at this point. You could have been the one that had the encouraging words. You could have been the one that was the person inspiring others. And now you are starting to feel hopeless. That's why I said someone feels like, you know, should I even continue with having hope, wishful thinking, thinking that my dreams will um, come true, thinking that things in my life will change. There's been a sudden loss of hope. I'm going to see what God wants you to know about this too. We got past lives that flipped over. I'm just going to take the top card because three, I think. But I'm just going to take the top card, which is past lives. It says Regal, seductive and just a bit dangerous with Cleopatra energy. So strong, you intimidate your prey. It says you have a very strong connection to Egypt. And that's what I was saying about your uh, your roots. There's something about your roots. You have a strong connection to Egypt. Regal. There's something very regal and seductive about you. And I feel like with this dangerous energy that shows through, that's what I'm talking about with these challenges that you've been experiencing. And I feel like what you don't realize is that Despite having dealt with battle after battle, I feel like anyone that has tried to come up against you is intimidated by you because they can't take you down. They can't defeat you. And like I said, it's because every time there's some sort of battle, you tend to overcome it. Yes, you're tired and you're losing hope because you, you are believing that the best is going to happen for you. But it's challenging because it hasn't happened yet. But because of the things that you've gone through, like I said, people have tried to do things to you. But despite what you've gone through, you still are an overcomer. And I feel like that intimidates people. Because I feel like you, some of you don't look like what you went through. And I feel like some people don't even know all of what you've gone through. And those that have tried to attack you, they know because of what they did. And they see you still standing. And that scares and intimidates them. Because you have a backing. You have a backing of, like I said, because of your roots, because of your ancestry. There is some sort of backing behind you as you go through these trials. 
Let's get one more card. Clear audience. And look, mystical too. It says you have the gift of receiving intuitive messages from spirit. I told you there's something that's very, whoever this person is, whoever you are, who this reading is for. There is something very mystical about you, something very spiritual about you. Again, you have this backing. You have Egypt behind you, like a connection to Egypt, Cleopatra energy, someone that's very strong and fierce. And we got here this gift. An intuitive message is that spirit communicates with you. It may sound as if spirit is right next to you or inside your head or echoing as if from another dimension. Your clear audience, you receive intuitive messages. That's why despite what you've gone through, you would keep going because you would be expecting to get to the sun, to get to that promised land. But you're starting to lose faith because this has been going on for a long time and you're starting to lose hope. Something very mystical about you, which gives people the impression that you are very much in your power and you are. That's what I'm talking about. Very much so in your power, because again, trying to, you know, deal with adversity and challenges and how you overcome them. Now, this is not to say that you are a person. So you are going to feel tired. You're going to feel exhausted because of the challenges and difficulties. And again, some of you have had to face these physically alone, but spiritually you have an army behind you. But I feel like what people see, they see you. They don't see the army. So when they attack you, they think that they're just attacking you, but they don't see that you have a spiritual army that is looking out for you because there's some sort of there's something about a, a calling and a purpose that you're meant to finish in this life. And in your previous life, I'm hearing fighting for justice. That came out really clear. I heard fighting for justice. There's something about fighting for justice or some sort of fight that you have to endure and overcome something. Because it's like you're meant to, in this lifetime, you're meant to complete something. There's a completion that needs to take place in this lifetime. You need to finish something. See, a warrior spirit. You have a warrior spirit, not afraid to face conflict and challenges while at the same time remain committed to a path of goodwill and fairness. A warrior. Who's a warrior? A fighter. That's what I'm saying. Someone that fights for justice. Righteousness. You have that warrior spirit in you. That's something, there's something this lifetime, yeah, and of course, water, deeply connected. That's that water energy. Um, you have something that you have to fight for. I don't feel like in your previous life you were a water sign or had that water energy because I feel like there's something about you connecting to your emotions in this lifetime, more so in previous lifetimes. I don't know what that's about. And you got here knowing emotional healing that's what that's about yes there's some sort of emotional healing that you need to take care of in this lifetime matters of the heart that's where that water energy is coming through because i feel like you've you've had to operate in previous lifetime you had to operate in this warrior type of energy and i feel like there could have been issues around love issues around the heart chakra and in this lifetime you're meant to deal with those emotions you're meant to deal with those feelings and i feel like someone is meant to experience love on a very deeper and soulful level yeah oh look at here a ring a ring is coming through yeah, there is some sort of like commitment, some sort of engagement, some sort of connection that you have. And I'm also seeing abundance. You're meant to experience abundance because I feel like in previous lifetimes, there could have been um, issues around love. I feel like even some of you may have had short lifetimes where you didn't get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. But I feel like your journey has been long because you're going to be able to rest in this sun. You're going to be able to heal and experience a, a fruitful life. Yeah, see, cosmic plan. I'm here to prepare you for your sacred union. I told you guys. Yes, you're meant to have it this time. Look, she's in a dress, a wedding dress, and that ring. 
There goes that ring. I told you guys, I'm here to prepare you for your sacred union so you don't mirror the distortions of yourself because there are things that need to be cleared up in previous lives. So there could have been some sort of distorted energy because if you're always in fight or flight mode, then where do you have that time to really sit in your feelings and experience true love on a deeper level? And that's what I feel like in previous lifetimes, fighting for justice, always the warrior, always in fight or flight mode. Now your cosmic plan is to experience a long lasting love. But this journey, it's been a journey to get there. We got secrets. I'm healing your past sufferings by bringing the truth to the light. That's that sun, which can no longer be hidden. That's that sun. And again, cosmic plan. It's part of the cosmic plan. And it looks like she's on. She's underwater. She's underwater. So there's something, like I said, there's something very significant around love. And I feel like this this warrior energy. It has to be healed before you can step into the sun. Tell me about cancers. In your power, I'll inspire you to stand in your own power while you begin to unravel who you are and claim your crown. Part of this journey was for you to unravel who you are. And you're a divine being of love. At your core is love. That's why you fight so hard. That's why you go so hard. Because at the core of you is love. But there's also some broken pieces. Some unhealed pieces. Some unconscious patterns. That needed to be unraveled. Tell me more about cancers. up to you this is up to you so there's something going on because it keeps saying even right here i'll inspire you to stand in your own power and then it's saying it's up to you there's something that's going to be up to you about this whole situation it says i can't help you for it's coded in your dna i mean it says it's coded with your soul didn't i say about your ancestry there's something about your ancestry and only you can unlock the gates of abundance and love and then that tower is in reverse. That's what I'm saying. You're not really blocked. You are not really blocked. Because the tower is in reverse. So you may feel like you're blocked right now. But there's something you're supposed to do. Something you're supposed to unravel. You know what I'm getting here, guys? I feel... Knowing, knowing, there's a knowing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. It says here, you have the ability to connect on a deeper level with people and talk in ways they feel hurt. Being able to penetrate their veil often leaves people feeling vulnerable. I feel like there's some sort of knowing that you have. And so I remember I was saying, you know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. You have a knowing. God has already told you the promises. You know things are going to be okay. But there's something that you're sitting in. And look here, the moon. And I told you guys, I felt some sort of like depression, sleepless energy, like someone feeling like sleepless nights and staying stuck. I feel like you need to get in your power. And I feel like, remember I said dealing with your feelings and your emotions. I feel like this is about you having to learn that no matter what comes your way, no matter what you face, it's more so about how you react to those situations. Are you going to allow it to consume you or are you going to allow it to empower you? That's what this is about for you because you know spiritually God has got you. You know spiritually that you have a fortune and abundance on the other side. Spirit is saying you're no longer blocked. Were you blocked before? Yes. Are you blocked now? No. It's all about how you're reacting and looking at the situation that's holding you back right now. Because look, she's standing here. She's laying down, ready to give up. 
And God says, it's up to you because she feels defeated. And God is saying, no, you are in your power. You have overcome a lot. You're fierce. You're mystical. You have a divine connection to me. You are my child and you were my child in previous lives. You've been called for this. You are a warrior. You don't get to lay down. Get into your power. Put on your crown. You come from the most high. That's what God is trying to say. You know who God is. You know who has been protecting you. You know the army that's backing you. So why would you lay here? Spirit saying, get up. Put your crown on. You have the sun on the other side of this. This is about getting into your feelings. Remember I said there's something about feelings, emotions, love. And I feel like someone, someone allowed or again, this is not judgment though. I feel like someone's feelings have been consuming them because someone feels you, the viewers, whoever this is for, feel on a very deep level. And remember, I said to you guys too, having like, you know, doing things from the heart, doing things out of love. And I feel like because of so much venom, so much hate that someone could have gotten, you know, so many unhealthy things, it was just all too consuming. But God is saying you are meant because you're a warrior, you're a fire, a fighter. You're meant to help people. People feel hurt when they connect to you. But you had to go through this. Don't lose hope. You had to go through this because there's something that you're meant to do. I'm going to get one more card for cancers. We got her pain. Yep. Look at that. Pain. I'm releasing you from self-imposed pain. That's why I said you're not blocked. You've been, I feel like you've been reflecting. This is why you've been stuck. And look, change is coming next. I feel like this is where this laying down is about. You can stay here, right? But I feel like it's about reflection. I'm giving you a chance to look in the mirror and face yourself in order to create the change from within. Because I feel like this pain, which says I'm releasing you from self-imposed pain. Because like I said, you're not really blocked that has imprisoned you and perpetuated your suffering. It's like, because everything that you've gone through, it's like, ah, oh, I'm in pain after having dealt with those things. And I feel like someone has been reflecting on it. And that's why someone is staying stuck. And Spirit is saying, no, get up. This is self-imposed, get out of this. You have change coming your way. I'm bringing you a much needed change. But what did I tell you guys? In your perception and in your physical world around you. Didn't I said it's about how you're viewing this right now. This last battle, this last chapter, this last trial is about you. It's like, yes, everything you've gone through, you have been a fa facing adversity and blocks. But this final test is about you looking in the mirror, you facing yourself and looking at what you've gone through and allowing it to empower you. Once you do, your physical world will change. It starts in the mind. You're not stuck. You're more, you are, you are more than what you've gone through. You're a warrior. That's why you've been through so much and haven't given up now. Some of you, some, some people that have gone through what you've gone through will have quit, t you know, 20 adversities ago, but you're a warrior. And that's what spirit is trying to get into you. There's there, this, what you're going through is not unique. This is not life, just lifing where people just are experiencing just trials of life. This is your journey. This is a part of what you were called here to do. This reading is not for someone that's average. This is actually a reading for someone that comes from what I'm picking up here. Like someone that has like a really connected soul to God. It's like you sit with God or with ancestors, ascended masters. I mean, like at the table, you're at the table with ascended masters and God, and you chose to incarnate into this world. Because there was something that you had to wrap up this lifetime. Yep, your journey, your journey. 
I'm also feeling like some of you are going to be moving. I really get here. Yep. See envy your journey. You've had a lot of envy on your journey. People intimidated by you. People attacking you. It's part of your journey because they actually empower you. It actually makes you stronger. We got here. Yep. See, look, walking away, walking away from it. Look, see, you deal with it differently. The attacks that come at you, the envy that comes with you. Look at how she's looking back unfazed, unbothered. This is what you, this is the state that you had to get into. It's like, don't, don't sit here and take it. And what I mean by that is like, oh, I can't do anything about it. Yes, you can. Walking away is powerful. Not, not lowering yourself to that level is powerful. There's power in that. It takes a lot of strength to walk away from toxicity or people trying to ruin or tarnish your reputation or cause issues in your life. You didn't stoop to the level of those people. You walked away and there's power in that. See, you have had to go at it alone in this world. Your role has been a lonely one. And I feel like this journey, and that's why I said like people see you and think that they're attacking you. But again, like I said, there's a whole army behind you, a whole spiritual army behind you. Yeah, the thing, see, I told you there's been a lot on your mind. And look, anxiety. I started out your reading telling you that, that there was a lot on your mind. There's been a lot on your mind, feeling anxious, feeling worried. And what did we talk about? Woman holding a heart. There's something about love for you that you're meant to experience a happy family this lifetime. This is what's on the other side of the sun. See, you're sitting here thinking about things that cause you anxiety, but God is telling you this is about your perception. Yes, you've gone through things that you've gone through, but as soon as you change your perception about your situation, I feel like this is when this change and this is when you're going to take off. Happy family. And look, you're going somewhere and look what's at that door. The door is opening up for you. The door to value is going to open up to you. Having your own family or being with someone and blending families. The door to that. Look, blossoming abundance. This final test is all about you and your perception. Do you not know that God has your back or are you going to lay there and feel defeated and feel like giving up? It's all up to you. And look, see a match. I told you, man holding a heart, a thinking man, perfect match, perfect match, a woman holding a heart and a man holding a heart, both of you, the thinking man, caring connection, I told you guys, man holding a coin, uh-uh, I told you guys, right, and I say I told you guys because I really feel like someone needs to hear this message, don't give up, you are not stuck, you just have to change your perception, you have blossoming abundance you also have the door to value you know what i'm getting here you have to live by faith you cannot live by what you see because i told you guys someone is looking at the reality of their situation and wanting to give up but you cannot look at the reality of your situation because you're a spiritual being so you have to look at it from a spiritual perceptive are you going to allow the reality of the situation, which is, you know, things looking hopeless and you're just going to stay stuck and think that that's, that that guy has just forgotten you and that you're not going to overcome it. You're going to stay stuck in that energy or are you going to have faith, get back up on that, on that fish, change your perception and keep moving forward because where you're going is this, the door to value. Can you see it? Look at the money flying in. The door is opening up. You just have to get up. You have to get up from right here and go into this direction. But it's a, what am I talking about, right? It's all about your perception. Once your perception changes, then your world will shift into this blossoming abundance. Here comes this caring connection and you have someone that's thinking about you. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to do an extended we're going to look into this thinking man's energy. We're going to see what's going on in their world. But you're going someplace. 
you are going someplace. I'm also going to look at an extended what's coming your way that you don't see coming because there's going to be some sort of significant change for you and we can see it right there. So we're going to look at that what's coming your way that you don't see coming and we're going to also look into this thinking man. What are they thinking about when it comes to you? This is someone that's holding a coin. They have experienced heartbreak and they are going to be chasing you. We're going to look more into who they are, what they're about, and what God wants you to know about this caring connection. Because it's just, this is something that's significant to your soul's purpose here on this earth in this particular lifetime. So if you want more insight, come on over to the extended. The link will be in the description box. I'll catch you guys over there. Bye.